What's going on YouTube? First off, I wanna say this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Get a 10% discount and 14 days free right now. Get an epic website. So, link will be in the description. Check that out now. All right, so today I want to talk about the importance of not having to lift so heavy all the time. Um, there are days, at least one or two days out of the week, where it's just about function, mobility, working on uh, movement patterns, um, just trying to get my body balanced um, with all the heavy weights and the heavy lifting that I do. It does push into tight muscles, tight um up, excuse me, Morty, um, joint areas where I just need to really understand how to extend the body um, and a longigated body, a strong longigated body, body, but what the hell? <laughs> strong longigated body that's mobile is key. Now, uh, what I do is pretty much the same things that I've done for NFL training, um, working on dynamic stretching. Um, you see me doing like you know fast twitch muscle work you see me working the hips and really getting mobile really getting loose really getting warmed up really focusing on a look a few fast movements um my warm-ups uh, my warm-ups are actually pretty long when i do these things they're probably like about 20 minutes i take about 20 minutes to warm up uh, fully and then I get into the full routine of things and majority of the time it's just uh, Start out with legs hamstrings, of course is something that I feel like not enough of us Work the right way, you know um, and try this out right here So what I'm doing is I'll do three slow reps to start out and then I'll rep all the way up to 15 so I'm getting that negative feel into um, the hamstrings and then I'm just pumping it out just really trying to get that blood flow going and also I'm getting a sort of a stretch and strength training as well um, one thing that I say the more you work your hamstrings the more you have to work your glutes you don't want your your hamstring to overpower on your glutes because that's one thing amongst athletes um, that, ha that have that will push to a lot of problems when sprinting you know that moment when you finish the uh, when you pass the finish line and you just feel like you're about to tear something on that last extension you know that's a lot to deal with uh, when it comes to the, the glutes so strong glutes with strong hamstrings a lot of uh, dead stop movements is very crucial uh, as you see me right now in that lunch position with the kettlebells so I think that's 60 kg each Something like that. Uh, what does it say? I'm trying to read. It. I think a 46 kg actually. Um, set to 10 on each leg, and then moving to a plyometric movement right here. You see me kneel on the ground, jump up, high explosion um, from the floor up to the box. The box could be higher, but I really want to focus on just control. And then so I get up again, and I do laterals. So I'm working all all the lateral movements uh frontal movements um really hitting all angles getting ashy knees right now you see that see that white right there but you need some lotion you need some lotion on them knees and then you see i'm going from the side lateral jumps now and these are key things you really need to focus on when you go into the gym the main key is to say all right what is the purpose of my training today what do I want to work on what do I want to get better on and then you put that into the gym um, so right now I'm working on a little bit of mobility with a kettle kettlebell and an overhead ball uh, 20 pounds and uh, I did that for two sets everything was about six reps for this um, focusing on trying to work on that ankle mobility that hip mobility and keeping my body straight up and not too bent over with overhead movements because now I'm starting to get more into the um, weightlifting and I need to be more disciplined in keeping weightlifting a part of my program because it really helps keep my uh, shoulders open, chest open, and uh, not too tight. So, not sure where I'll go with the benching because the more I weightlift, the 
more like my bench kind of suffers. But I'm still trying to find that balance, and that's what it's all about. You know, I've been doing this for 13, 14 years, and finding balance is a journey. Uh, next off is I'm training some abs right now. This is what I do for obliques. I do this at mid, mid, um, mid cables, highs, and lows. And the thing that I used to make a big mistake on working the obliques was, you know, when you grab a dumb hell, dumb, uh, dumb hell. <laughs> what the fuck you about talking about? Dumbbell, and you do like side crunches. So I wish I never did that. That is the biggest mistake I did when I was young. And now I have these thick, muscly love handles. And um, I used to think that just because I was getting a pump in that area, in my obliques, um, ab area, that they would get more, you know, shredded. Like, no, they got thick, and I hate it, and I'm, I'm trying so hard to get rid of it, but it's not like it's fat. I keep thinking it's fat, and I go to the doctor, um, or to like a, a very more experienced trainer, and it's just thick muscles right there. Um, but what I was thinking when I was doing it is like, all right, you know, I just need to be like compact everywhere and muscle everywhere when I was doing the NFL training. And, um, you know, for lateral movements or for anything side related. But this is a better way to work those obliques. Uh, cut them up, um, you know, call them wood chops or whatever it is. So like I said, you have the cable at high, mid, and low. And you'll do about 16 reps all together. So eight each side, uh, two sets of each level. Uh, I love doing this. I feel great doing this. My abs feel great after doing this and it really works. So you should definitely try it out. Um, don't make the mistake of doing the side dumbbell crunches, please. Because it's, you don't want, you don't want thick love handles, all right? It's cool to be like thick, but not in that area, you feel me? We don't want that muffin top. It makes me look like I have like a muffin top and I don't like that. So I was kind of a little bit creative, trying to work on a little bit of legs, hips, and also abs right here with the med ball. So we did 10 hits, one, two, three, you know, um, all the way back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then after that, we did five um, med balls up to the toes. And we did this for three sets. And what you'll feel right here is your quads will be just constantly contracting. So like I said, you're working that whole lower body and midsection. But I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm out.